وهذا الفيلم يعتبر طفل صغير يعني اخاف عليه من اي يعني لمسه هواء تجي I met many Omanis in the UAE. I like their style, attitude, and hospitality. They always told me that Oman is rich in history. And I always wondered, what does Oman look like? Now, I'm here. Luban, the finest and most expensive frankincense in the world, is a trademark of Oman. It is the essence of Oman and a symbol of life for its people. Luban and other goods can be found in Oman's Matrah Souq in Masqat. Khanjar, a traditional dagger which forms a national symbol of Oman. I'm Ahmad Ali Murad Al Bulushi, Ahd Al Tijara, Souq Matrah, Oman. It is one of the oldest marked places in the Arab world, dating back about 200 years. Today, it became a tourist destination to buy goods, Omani silver, traditional antiques, and outfits. Visiting the buzzing souk is simply a walk back in time. Among Omanis, the souk is called Al Balam which means darkness in Arabic, because sunlight barely penetrates the souk by day. Outside the souk, people enjoy a walk at Matrah Corniche. Families come out to enjoy the view of the mountain and the symphony of sea splash. We continue our journey to have lunch in a fort called Rosna. Now, Oman is famous of its multi-forts and this traditional Omani restaurant shaped like an old Omani fort. It has a private and VIP rooms for people to enjoy their meals. <laughs> we continue the journey. Witness the sunset while heading to Badia Desert in the middle of the eastern region of Oman. Sitting around the fire, watching millions of stars, was a mesmerizing moment in this trip. Everyone loves their countries, but only few take the decision to go extra mile and put their country in focus. Maisel Houthi, a passionate Omani woman, was eager to highlight the charming features of Oman. 
الفيلم اللي جالس اشتغل عليه العمان تحت المجهر هو عباره عن تصوير فيلم وسلسله وثائقيه يتكلم عن البيئه العمانيه من مسندم الى طفار فراح يعني نصور كل الكائنات اللي موجوده في السلطنه الكائنات النادره احنا كشعب بنفسنا ما نعرف ان هذه الكائنات ايضا موجوده في عمان لان عمان كبيره وفيها كائنات كثيره اللي الحين ما اكتشفت فنحن دورنا الان نكتشف هذه الكائنات ونعمل فيها فيلم دوكيومنتري نريد العالم يشوف ايش عمان فيها عمان جنه واحنا عايشين في جنه وانا يعني دائما احس ان عمان تستحق دائما الافضل لان هي اعطتنا الافضل اعطتنا الامن والسلام ووقفت معانا ودرستنا فهذا اقل شيء انا اقدمه لبلدي Um Saeed, a Bedouin Omani woman, welcomed us with her traditional outfit and spoke about the nomadic people who inhabited the desert region. We had our lunch before hitting the road again for another destination. This is Sur. a port city on Oman's eastern tip. Its shipyards, which still produce traditional wooden vessels, played a key role in Oman's maritime past. We caught up with Ali bin Jum'a, a boat builder who owned and worked in a shipyard dated back to the 17th century. This place is considered one of the most in the Khaliq. يعني يرجع تاريخي ل 1730 ميلادي هذا متوارثين ابا عن جد جيل بعد جيل جيل بعد جيل لما وصل عندنا ان شاء الله نتمنى انه يستمر بعد الجيل الاجيال القادمه تعتبر السفن من صور هي من اجود السفن يعني اجود صناعه جوده يعني وثانيا لما تمشي تروح في البحر تكون اسرع في البحر As watching the sunset on a beautiful Oman, flashes of our travel passed in front of me. It reminds me that Omani lifestyle is very simple, and Oman is a very peaceful country that has to offer many beautiful places and very traditional culture. What makes Oman so unique is also the culture, which is simple, traditional and extraordinary on its own way. This is Ali Al Shouk with cameraman Ahmed Ramadan signing off from Oman.